Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told how to voice the radio. So today, well, earlier today, I showed you Champion's Path, the brand new set which is coming out in a bunch of Pokemon TCG products, starting in September, four days before my birthday. Hint, hint, my wife's not listening, she's in the other room, never mind. And I told you about a bunch of products and, and finished with an apology basically saying, look, we don't have any pictures of these products. I'm sorry. I will bring you news when we have news. When we can see these things, I will bring you the news. I will show you what they are. Well, it didn't take long. <laughs> As I'm recording this, my video's been up for like two hours and these images are already out there. So I could wait a couple of days, but no, ladies and gentlemen, you know the deal by now. I pride myself on bringing you all the latest news when it happens. This is the latest news. It happened today. I'm bringing you the news today. We have got a bunch of new products to have a look at, so let's have a gander. So starting off then, we've got the other three pin collections. I showed you three in the previous video. I told you that there would, however, be six of them, now we can see the other three. And we might as well start off with Spike Muff Jim because I don't know it's as good a place to start as any. Now we largely knew what was going to be in this anyway. We knew we were going to get the appropriate gym badge. We knew we were going to get three packs. And we knew we were going to get an alternate art promo card. But it is the alternate art promo card of Galarian Obstagoon. Now... This was one we probably could have predicted. It is Piers. Piers does kind of love his Obstagoon. But the Obstagoon is really, really good. Like, really good. It's the one, I mean, it's got the ability that when you evolve into it, you get to place three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Fine. Okay. But... It's also got the attack Obstruct that does 90 damage and during your opponent's next turn you prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. And that, ladies and gentlemen, makes a huge difference. That's a great card. Yeah, it's an alternate art promo of one we've already seen. Don't care. Great card. People are going to want this. Balan Lee Jim. Is also getting the pin collection. And again, we get what we would expect in terms of the pin and the free packs. But we get an alternate art version of Alchemy. And I find it interesting, right? I, I haven't had time to make a prediction video. I, I would have had we had any chance. But I would have guessed that it would just be an alternate art version of the Alchemy from Rebel Clash. Now, in terms of how good the card is, it, it, it's, it's quite nice. It's all right. What it does for just a single energy is it lets you attach a bunch of energy. You attach as many basic energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon as you like in any way that you like. It's a cool little card. It's not seen a huge amount of play, love, success, use whichever phrase you like up to now. It's, it's fine, but... It's a nice card to have, and at the end of the day, if we ever do see that kind of card being really good, this one is going to be front and center, so it could be worse. The other pin collection that we're getting that we haven't seen so far is the Hammerlock Gym Collection. And this one's interesting to me, right, because it's Raihan's gym, but he's a Dragon Gym Leader, and Dragon cards... We haven't had any in Sword and Shield. We don't know exactly what's going on. So you get your pin badge and you get your free packs. But you get an alternate art version of Duraludon. And this is actually another really good one. This Duraludon is really good and seeing a bunch of play in metal decks right now. It is the one from Rebel Clash that for one energy does 30 damage. And attaches a metal energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. It's a really good card that's seeing a whole bunch of play. So, this is another one that people are going to want for the playability. It's going to be moderately sought after. Yay! Now, as well as the pin collections, I also told you we were getting special pin collections based on Stow on Side and Sir Chester. And we had to, right? Because they have two gym leaders. 
They've got different gym leaders depending on whether you're playing sword or shield. And the stow on side, because of my love for B as the best gym leader in Gen 8, come at me in the comments, means that I am definitely going to be picking this one up. Now, in each of these, you get both of the pin badges, depending on which gym you would be taking down. And you get five packs and you get two promo cards. Now, in the stow on side, you get a promo match amp. And I don't remember seeing this match amp anywhere before. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. But I don't remember seeing this match amp anywhere. It will be getting its own video probably tomorrow. I'm afraid we don't have time for that today. And what it does, it's got the attack Macho Revenge that does 20 damage for each fighting Pokemon in your discard pile. This could be really, really good. Also, 200 damage for free energy is not to be sniffed at. As for the Gengar, this is very much one we have seen before. It is just an alternate art version of the one that came out in Sword and Shield that lets you move a damage counter from one of your psychic Pokemon to another of your psychic Pokemon as often as you like. It's a fun little card, but it suffers like so many have in the past with being a stage 2. And, um, yeah... That has kind of hurt it. Moving over into the Sir Chester box then. We do actually get an alternate art version of Colossal. And this is a really nice Colossal that accelerates a fighting and a fire energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. It's one we've seen before. It's a reprint of the one from Rebel Clash. But... It's a good card, and I'm still expecting that start being good at some point in the future. Which is not what I'm going to say about the Lapras. We like Lapras. Lapras is a lovely Pokemon, but this is just an alternate art reprint of the one from Sword and Shield. And let's just say it, it's not a particularly good Lapras. Sorry, Lapras. That's not to be too harsh to it. It's fine. I mean, you put it in a Frostmoth deck where you can accelerate energy, and yeah... That could work, but the reality is it is um, it is not going to set the world on fire, I think is a, a fair way to put it. It's really sad because this could have been the promo Frostmoth. I mean, it was probably going to be Lapras. Lapras was really Melanie's partner, but oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, it would be so much cooler if it was a Frostmoth. Never mind, eh? Now... The other cool thing we're getting, and this is what we had very, very little detail about before, we are getting the Marnie Special Collection. Now, you get a bunch of booster packs, eight in total, and then you get yourself a Hangry version more Pico and a Grim Snarl pin badge, which is very, very cool. And you also get yourself promo versions of more Pico V. And Grim Snarl V. Now the more Pico V is an alternate art version of the one that we first saw in Sword and Shield. It's a very nice card. It is... It's one that initially saw a lot of play over in Japan. I mean, single energy, 20 to the active, 20 to the bench. And free energy, 150 to discard an energy, switch it with one of your bench. That is a very cool thing to do. It's turned out to be very much a kind of lower tier rogue deck. It has not turned out to be particularly good. But it did initially get a whole bunch of hype and that's kind of cool. As for Grimmsnarl V, this is one that is actually coming out in Darkness Ablaze. It was one of the ones that came out in the Grimmsnarl V deck over, or the V Max deck over in Japan. And single energy 40 damage or free energy 200 return to darkness energy attached to this Pokemon to your hand is fine. Remember in that same deck over in Japan you did get the Hydreigon that lets you attach as many darkness energy during your turn as you like. So... It is very much in keeping with the deck that you put the energy back in your hand, but then you can reattach it kind of as early as you like. Not a coincidence. Uh, it ended up in the same deck as that card. So neither of these promos are particularly out and out amazingly brilliant, but you do get the two pin badges and the two promos and the eight boosters, so it is a very, very cool product nonetheless. For me... 
I am all in on the Stow On Side special pin collection. I want me B's gym badge. And honestly, I do not remember seeing that match amp anywhere. And I really like that match amp. I love the first attack. It's a stage two. But I love it nonetheless. But we can talk about that properly later. It really does deserve its own video. But it would be mean to show you all these new products and not at least tell you what it did. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of cool new products coming for Champion's Path. And I remain extremely excited about this incoming set. But I'd like to know how you feel. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.